Shock is a life-threatening condition and occurs when the blood flow to vital organs is critically reduced and deprives the organ of oxygen. It is simply described as the lack of oxygenated blood to the body's vital organs. Major causes of shock include heart attack, severe blood loss from uncontrolled internal or external bleeding, and also conditions known as dehydration, severe infection, poisons, persistent vomiting and diarrhoea. The recognition signs and symptoms. A rapid, weak pulse. Pale, blue-grey, cold, clammy skin. Nausea and thirst. Rapid, shallow breathing. Unconsciousness. Let's now look at the treatment. First of all, it is important to treat the cause, whether that is a bleed, a burn or an injury. If the injuries allow, lay the casualty down and then raise and support their legs. This action will help keep the blood at the body's vital organs. Be aware of injuries such as a spinal injury or an injury to the legs. So if, for example, a casualty has a fracture to one leg, then to treat for medical shock, you should raise simply the other leg. You should loosen tight clothing and keep the casualty warm with items such as blankets or coats, but ensure that you insulate any cold ground. Core 999. Calm and reassure your casualty whilst monitoring the airway and breathing at all times. If the casualty becomes unresponsive and unconscious and is not breathing normally, then you should carry out the procedure for basic life support. So, in summary, shock is life-threatening. Don't forget to treat for shock when managing more obvious injuries. Lay the casualty down and raise their legs if injuries allow. Dial 999.